And so off the bat, kind of give a slight edge to the tweak of uh, false team. Ah, okay. Let's All see. Right. Let's see. Going to game one, man. Starting it off. And uh, we got more cloudy days for you guys. False pulling out the soldier first class. Of course. You know, I actually did talk to Falls at a uh, big house. And um, since they actually do do this team a lot, uh, before yeah, going to Sheet Cloud, they do this team uh, pretty often. Yeah. It's a pretty good success, too. So. Let's see what they can do here. Again, uh, we did see uh, Yoshi and Zach go against uh, Levi and Naro's double cloud team. Didn't really struggle too hard there, so. Oh, I mean, switch. they didn't, they didn't uh, struggle at all. <laughs> yeah. They were definitely uh, pretty dominant against that, uh, that team position. So we catch there with Falls. He's going to hit Zach out at the uh, time to get the 2v1 situation, but let's just fight it off and Ooh. get to the match. Nice catch. Yeah, what a play, man. You know, get that 2v1, and then immediately his teammate comes back, goes for the back throw handoff. Uh, you know you're ha you have a good, uh, good doubles character when you have a throwback and just <laughs> easily set up into a kill move. Yeah. Oh, I like oh, the okay. positioning from Squeak, man. I saw the opening from that cross flash. Maximizing the damage there. Okay. The 2v1 situation here on Yoshi. Not gonna be the stock, but it's gonna be a decent amount of damage. Yeah, it's not just a little Whoa, bit of damage. Wow, really that grab on the uh, turnaround from the, the Dragon Lunge actually is so good for Pulse. Yeah. Okay. Uh, both crowds though do have the limit. Oh, nice. Wow, what a save. Yeah, yeah. Really good awareness from Tweet to hit him out before he can get the final chomp there. That would have been an easy stock. Going up, single hit with Swish, and him on the wow. side stage. Stock. Great adjustment coming out there from Zach. Okay. Trying to force Boss off the stage. He's not living right now, but oh, wow. Oh, Cross slash touch. right into the finishing touch. Oh, miscommunication there coming out from the blue team. Kind of put Zach in a problematic spot. But National the Witch time. Gonna get a big punish here. Yep. Gonna do it. Seven looking for a chance to get that early stock off the top, but really good interception coming out there from Tweak. Yeah, and just really good play of you know, false being really preemptive uh, with that dare, recognizing the situation that potentially gonna come up there. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna stick this dare out. You try to ABK, that's the only way that you're gonna reach me at this uh, point in time. Ooh. Easy dare, you're gonna run right into it. And I almost just the double kill, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Clean conversion. They're coming out from Tweak and False, man. Yeah. Double call looking nice. They did have that stellar uh, run against Levi and Nairo's double call, but it's looking like a different beast here. Tweak and uh, False. Oh, yeah. These guys are definitely different beasts. Like you said before, uh, this is a team that these guys have actually really played out. Uh, these guys have really good synergy. Uh, Tweak, actually, overall, uh, a lot of people see him as a very excellent, I mean, he's an excellent player, period. But uh, he's just extremely strong in doubles. False, also a uh, very intuitive player. Uh, usually, for him, usually the problem we see time and time again is that uh, he tends to get himself into a point where, he's, you know, he's not playing as much. You know, he's like, he's just been doing things kind of behind the scenes, yeah. right? So it's not going to be as... Uh, well rehearse, you know, he's not gonna have as uh, clean as movement he is, but and when he gets going, it's a sight to behold. Yeah, definitely. definitely with your uh, team with your friend, man. Team with your closest friends, definitely do that for you. And we're we'll going in this again, player phase, we are on game two, going on final destination. Yeah, and actually gonna get the sheep pick from, from Yoshi here. Actually did not know y'all had this character in this pocket. But I don't blame the, the switch here. Actually, she's such a stable character to deal with Cloud. Just oh, force no. Cloud off stage really early, but Paul's going to drop that stock. Yeah, and I saw uh, kind of wins from him, too, on the player side. Not too happy about that one. Yeah, I definitely like the, the choice of the Sheik here. You actually, movement looking really solid. Combos definitely uh, in the right place. It has the right game plan, too. You just kind of get these hits and just force Cloud off stage, force the edge guards. Yeah, I mean, uh, when you're looking at a character like Sheik, who's just going to have that, you're going you're to have that game for you up to right. You're going to have these kind of jabs. Once you're able to get in, in that kind of space, you have it on ledge, 
you just a lot of very solid punch, and you're gonna have a beautiful corner carry in the form of fair. Oh, team kill oh, coming no. out there from false. So wasn't aware where Tweak was going. And, and he's gonna this, drop the stock. Oh, oh god, this is a, a train wreck yeah, of a game two right now. Yeah, it's not working out. Let's see if they can actually pull this one together or are we gonna head to a game three. Yeah, you can never completely count out the double crossing because they're just so explosive with their kill potential. So if they just kind of have a like this, get two, uh, a member of the blue team in the center and just ping pong back and forth and get super early stocks, turn this game back, back around. Okay, opportunity here. Oh, good coverage there from Zach to keep Yoshi out of that dangerous 2v1 situation. Great DI as usual from Tweak. Some of the best uh, SDI when it comes to getting out of these bait headed combos. Absolutely. Yeah, Fair is not going to do it. Uh, some time for 2v1 situation. They're going to get it. Uh, that's a little, what's the up air? So much oh, good awareness there from Foss. Yeah, getting Tweak out of that jab, but no oh, tech. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, and no tech from Yoshi either. Oh, that no invincibility. Zach finds himself on one on his second stock. I tried to start the combo there, didn't really happen, but get up right there. Tweak, move out, up tilt. I love it. Good juggle. Alright, also stage with no limit. Good coverage coming out there from Yoshi. That stock is out of here. Now we got a 2v1. Zach still on the second stock. Tweak, FBI, really good on the first hit. I wish Oh, yeah, absolutely. You understand that's where it counts, and especially uh, that's something like you're going to see more often than not uh, as a cloud trying to recover. Uh, usually you would go for your typical dare, but in those situations, uh, especially in the Bayo, the Bayo has a very easy option in combat, and that would switch to So I do love that he's always prepared for that, because that's really going to be the main counter option he has to deal with. Wow. What a recovery to, oh to swing the Nair in the, the last one like that, using a really good drift to get past Yoshi. You gotta make sure he uh, he's got the eyes down so he can actually get hit by the other ABK. Which is a common one that you're gonna see at that range right there. Uh, dive kick into ABK, up air or potentially back air. Yeah, Tweak is moving super right here. Yeah, Zach has to get. This. Oh no, I'm gonna get stuck. Yeah, right, but he will burn that meter, which is super important. He's still getting his damage. Yeah, he is playing. Yeah, his, his movement is impeccable right here. And okay, goes for the air dodge instead of going for the back air. Interesting. But yes. yeah, untackable there. Good awareness coming out there from Yoshi saying, okay, I gotta get this stock off now. This guy is playing way too well in this 2v1. Yeah, checkmate. And yeah, not really much uh, you could have seen Tweak do there. Uh, probably uh, do a reverse up B. Yeah, outside to, of that, uh, especially uh, if that's well with the back there. But exactly. So I, I just. Tweak was just moving so well. Yeah, he was. And recovering. With a character with no limit off stage versus Bayonet and Sheik. Oh, One of the best clouds for a reason. If that wasn't you know, <laughs> yeah. enough of an indicator. Yeah, right if there. you didn't know, now you know. But they are going to even it up. Sheik switch coming out from Yoshi, proving to be pretty crucial there. Let's see, we're taking it for the game three here. All right. Town and City coming in for the Double Cloud team. A really strong pick here. Much earlier vertical kill potential. Already really strong kill potential on most stages, but it just gets exaggerated on a uh, stage like this. Okay. Good big guy there coming out there from Zach to actually avoid that 2v1 situation. Could have yeah. been really bad. So, see right now, the way that they're moving so fluid together, uh, I think they're like covering each other's uh, like on blind spots a bit more. And we didn't really see that in game two. I felt like game two was literally like this 2v1 situation, and then false was just kind of left out to dry. So I yeah. do love that they're kind of playing up a bit more tighter in their formation. I think it's helping them a lot right now going into this game three. Yeah, and that's definitely what you want it, as you know, double cloud, always be in a position where you can do things. Oh, oh but he got forwarded God. into it. Luckily, he didn't drop the stock there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, always be in a position where you can actually just get the easy follow ups because they get so much kill potential as you can see right there. Exactly. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, nice catch there yeah. from Zach. Actually, that was a pretty uh, bad spot for Yoshi to be in, but he 
Gauss Doctor. Yeah, really good play. Okay. She pinned the ledge here. Nice. I like the decision there from Yoshi to just kind of try to avoid that, you know, 2v1 situation or the 1v1 situation and force the edge guard right there. Yeah, that was a clean edge guard. Really low, low, low that stock. Oh, look at Zach, though. Him. No, he's going to oh, die. No. Man. Zach just destroying that stock of a false. Uh, yeah, false in nowhere. Actually, the DI. That one situation that you can do for Cloud is that if you can DI in. Then what happens is uh, Bayonetta will actually fly past you when she does her fair. And uh, that puts you in a really good position. Uh, so you don't have to deal off uh, hitting by the rest of the fair team, fair three. Yeah, crucial stock there coming out from uh, Zach on false. Uh, no, not going to be the double kill, but... Hey, it's one. Yeah, very close here. You guys are in a good place, too. We've got three stocks apiece. Eventually, uh, may take advantage here. Uh, oh, great not? up B swing from Falls. Not gonna uh, be anything too crazy for Yoshi, but really good uh, uh, anti bounce. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, DI is down and gets wow, the tech. That was good. Yeah, that was great. DI from uh, the Sheik. Yeah, beautiful points there, 2 one Oh, here we go. We got the Nair boots. Oh, no, Zach. No, yeah. Zach. Really poor time for that witch twist. Actually put Yoshi in a really poor spot, and he's gonna drop the stock for it. Uh, sweet. Yeah, see? Yeah, okay. See, look, see how he died in as yeah. I said before? So he didn't have to deal with that. No tech chase either. Doesn't get a taxi platform though. Yeah. Very close. Alright, Yoshi's gotta hold on to the stock. Wait for the air dodge, but goes for the vanish instead of the up air. Now Zach finds himself in between two clouds. Hey. Movement. Oh, trying to bounce in fish in time, trying to get the potential uh, clip clouds arm. Not gonna get it done. Uh, oh man, team uh, attack there gonna lead to she dropping the final stock. Yeah. Let's see what Zach can do. Like, oh, we got the wow, wow in the blast zone from, with these blast zone up bees, man. Yeah, he said, "Stay home." Wow, what a catch! Wow. I really like that defensive play coming out there from Cry. Does actually, I believe, has a frame of uh, invincibility at the startup too, so he actually can avoid a lot of hitboxes that way. And incredibly strong, so great coverage there coming from False. Clean it up a lot from.